गिरीश जी एक बार फिर आपका स्वागत है चैनल पे और आज बात करेंगे ब्रिक्स की करेंसी के बारे में कॉमन करेंसी जो प्रॉब्ली थॉट प्रोसेस में है कंसेप्ट स्टेज पे है लेकिन इससे पहले मैं आपको एक्चुअली एक बात बताना चाह रहा था यू नो काफी कंट्रीज ऐसे हैं जो रशिया के साथ नहीं है मतलब रशिया के जो ऑब्जेक्टिव है वार ऑब्जेक्टिव है उनको वो शेयर नहीं करते या कन्विंस नहीं होते लेकिन एक जो ऑब्जेक्टिव सामने नजर आ रहा है रशिया का चाइना के कि किसी ने किसी तरीके से ये डॉलर की जो डोमिनेंस है उसको खत्म किया जाए इस मामले में काफी लोग एक्चुअली रशिया और चाइना के साथ अगर नहीं भी हैं तो वो कन्विंस्ड हैं क्योंकि डॉलर की जो ट्रांजैक्शन कॉस्ट प्रॉब्ली उनको पड़ रही है वो बहुत ज्यादा पड़ रही है और शायद उनको जो ट्रेड करना इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड करना उनको डिफिकल्ट पड़ रहा है तो मतलब अगर आप वार ऑब्जेक्टिव आप देखो तो एक इशू है जो रशिया का हो सकता है और चाइना उसके साथ आप समझ सकते हैं लेकिन जो ये इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर को चेंज करना विद द हेल्प ऑफ रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ डॉलर आइदर विद चाइनीज करेंसी और विद एनी अदर करेंसी ये काफी लोगों को ये आइडिया अपील करता है और प्रॉब्ली इंडिया भी अप टू सर्टन एक्सटेंट उसमें है तो जो चाइना की इकोनॉमी है वो 16 ट्रिलियन डॉलर की है और लगभग 26 के करीब 26 ट्रिलियन जो है वो यूएसए की है तो चाइना अकेला उसको रिप्लेस करे ऑब्वियसली ये पॉसिबल नहीं है मगर अगर ब्रिक्स के थ्रू वो ये इनिशिएटिव लॉन्च करता है तो ब्रिक्स की जो टोटल अगर आप जीडीपी देखो तो ऑलमोस्ट उनके थर्टी ट्रिलियन डॉलर जाके बैठती है और अब इसमें सऊदी अरब भी आज आने की प्लान कर रहा है एक दो कंट्रीज और भी हो सकते हैं कल मैं करण थापर का इंटरव्यू सुन रहा था आरिफ जकारिया के साथ तो उसने भी ये बात कहा कि जो ब्रिक्स का जो कंसेप्ट है ये अमेरिका चाहे ना चाहे ये ग्राउंड रियलिटी ले चुका वट एवर में बी द रीजन बट इट इज ए रियलिटी नाउ अब मैं आपसे ये जानना चाहूंगा कि ये जो कंसेप्ट आया ब्रिक्स की एक कॉमन करेंसी का और उसके थ्रू ट्रेड करने का तो थोड़ा सा आप हमें कंसेप्ट समझा दीजिए दर्शकों के लिए और उसके बाद ऑफ कोर्स आगे बात करते हैं तो ओवर टू यू ग्रीस जी थैंक यू कर्नल सर ब्रिक करेंसी और ब्रिक नेशन एज वी ऑल नो इज ब्रिटिश इट इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ब्राजील रशिया इंडिया चाइना एंड साउथ अफ्रीका दिस इज अ ब्लॉक व्हिच इज वर्किंग टुगेदर ऑन कमर्शियल एज वेल एज ऑन अदर पैरामीटर एट इंटरनेशनल लेवल and in this regard they are having a regular meeting which is happening in either of the country wherever the turn comes out and in the last significant thing we have pandit in 2014 i am talking of related to the brick currency or brick financial point when new development bank was opened in 2014 with headquarter in china and mr kamath was his first chairman president of that bank which is of icic bank and other he is a very famous and learned person who was there to start that bank and similarly there it is basically to challenge the dominance of world bank and imf because world bank and imf gives loan and gives loan for repayment of the loan because imf is basically giving loan for the repayment of the loan world bank gives loan for the Um, basically the difference between the two is that as what we seeing that china and um, or pakistan or sri lanka they all are having that problem because of the terms and condition put up by the imf so ndb national uh, uh, this bank new development bank was basically to ease those uh, tough condition which is imposed by these banks so that um, countries low Uh, countries who are taking loan can get it at a lesser strict condition and then come out from those problem that was a, a concept of the new development bank but this was a 2014 but since then lot of thing has happened and one of the reason which we have discussed two three times in our videos that de dollarization and alternate and other things and, and in the last meeting also we said us itself is to be blamed for this concept and expediting that by taking such decision of uh, removing or boycotting or not allowing a particular country which is under sanction to use swift or other international 
transition forum for dollar and other things. So once these kind of things happen, all countries look for an alternate in case they are out of U.S. favor or U.S. is making some restriction like with Iran and other countries. So this is a ground realities. Now let's look at the alternate. In our one of the video, we have discussed what are the alternate at that time, which was Euro, Chinese Yen, Renbi, which is called, or Indian rupees or any other currencies. But we will not go back because we can give that link how, what are the limitations and pros and cons of each thing at that time. Now, since you have raised this question about uh, BRIC currency, let's concentrate on that. As you rightly said, the GDP of US is approximately $25-$26 trillion, which is approximately 24% of the world GDP, if we count it. Okay, whereas the BRIC countries GDP is around 32-32.7 trillion, which is approximately 31.6% of the world GDP. So if we count theoretically, yes, it is bigger, but this is the one advantage of BRIC nations versus US. Then we should also understand as of now, 90% of the world trade is happening in US dollar which is other than currency to currency, like Euro is happening between Euro, then it is a different case, or India, ruble is separate. So, But other than that, the world transaction currency trade is happening 90% in dollar as of now today. And most of the trade, apart from US and export to US and other countries, the commodity trade, which is crude oil and energy trade, which is all these countries, Middle East, whether it is Saudi, whether it is UAE, whether it is Oman, whether it is Qatar, they are getting all their paid reimbursement in dollar. And all their currencies are linked to US dollar. Means whatever be the UAE dirham is linked to the dollar. If dollar goes up, UAE dirham also goes up. If dollar comes down, dirham comes down. So all these currencies are linked to the dollar. So in other words, apart from uh, 24 percent GDP of the US dollar GDP. But if we count Middle East, then this percentage increases and probably goes beyond BRIC currency GDP share. Okay. So this is one point which people are not considering, but it is a major factor. But let's say, assume theoretically, Middle East countries or oil trading or by country, they decide to have their own currency and alternate to dollar. Okay, I'm just telling hypothetically, it is not happening immediately, yes. but let's say this is a situation. So let's look at the BRIC country. Now, BRIC is not a euro, which is having a common policies as far as in you for trading, for currency, for business, for ease of business, that the movement of the people and the any person can start their business in any part of the EU because of the rules and regulation by the countries and it is by the referendum which cannot be changed just by change of one government by other government. it requires yes. a lot of process. so it is a very uh, systematic very laid out process which cannot be changed just by the change of the government in particular country suppose france want to change it requires a lot of changes to come out or make any changes so it's a laid out process so all EU nations are having a common agenda, common goal and other things they are working. But BRIC is not having any such framework as of now. Now assume they are working on it. So first and foremost, they have to have start trading between country to country in their own currency. For example, India want to work with Brazil and Brazil want to work with India. So first we have to accept their currency and they have to accept our currency. This is the first step. So which is the first Thing, we'll have to have an understanding between the nations, between the five nations, which is part of BRIC. Of course, Russia ru and India ruble trade is there, but not all trades are in ruble. Most of the trades are in ruble. Similarly, China and Russia after Ukraine war and other things, they have started trade in ruble and yuan, but basically or mostly it is yuan which is trading. So countries have started, but it's still it is not any framework which is guiding to trade between their own currency when the member countries are trading. So this is the first step. Second step, there is a lot of rules and 
they are matlab we are having a threat from each other for example what is our market so we all countries are uh, competing with each other for the same product when we are competing with europe or africa like brazil is also pitting for it india is also pitting for it china is also going for it so it's a unlike uh, other nation when one or countries participating others are not uh, you know submitting a competitive bid and so it is not the case second thing uh dominance of china let's understand in the entire brick nation after the ukraine russia war russia is losing its uh, predominance or the dominance in the brick as well as in the world power and it is more and more depending upon the china and china is dictating terms on not only on russia but on other countries also to accept chinese terms and condition when they are trading with russia and the recent example it's a very small but it's a important to note russia has given crude oil trade uh, one cargo to pakistan in spite of pakistan was giving arms support to ukraine so and the currency which is settled is yuan so trading is happening between russia and pakistan no pakistan rupees no ruble but third currency yuan is coming it shows clearly how dominance is the china in deciding the action from russia to give crude oil though it is a token amount it's not a big amount so one can understand when they can have such a dominance over russia what will be the situation with the other country whether it is south africa brazil india and other thing now comes to the other major issue which is the trust deficit now working so closely from last many years and the thing is still india and china are not able to close their differences and it is still continuing and what we are seeing that until unless china change their policy drastically which in the immediate future we are not seeing because the current uh, general secretary has been chosen for the third time this is a unprecedented and they have changed their constitution so that he can complete uh, com- not only complete two son plus go beyond that i well, as long as his life or his health permit he can continue so keeping that in mind so no immediate change in the chinese policies we can see and at the same time india cannot accept dominance of china and allow border change under any circumstances when under unless that things happens india and china is not going to make any changes in their trade or in currency and other thing if that is not the case which is the two major economy so brick currency as an alternate is theoretically yes but practically i am not seeing immediate future until unless there is a drastic change in china which is not happening at the same time we have to also see the fluctuation now dollar fluctuation is not that much compared to what other currencies are fluctuating like rand in south africa it 100% fluctuation has happened in last couple of years so with that kind of a currency which country would like to deal with rand because of some reason or other current country's position work is not there or you know industrial growth or covid happened or what happened so that kind of a fluctuation if unless those stability is there so i am not seeing immediate any work serious efforts in brick as an alternate currency acha grish ji main aapse ek hypothetical question puchta hu is it possible for china to become number one global power military power विदाउट चेंजिंग ग्लोबल करेंसी मतलब डॉलर को रिप्लेस किए बगैर चाइना ग्लोबल नंबर वन मिलिट्री पावर बन सकता है क्या आई विल से अदर वे राउंड इज पॉसिबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट सी वी हैव सी डिस्कस इन वन ऑफ द वीडियो हाउ पाउंड लॉस इज वर्थ वर्ल्ड करेंसी स्टेटस टू डॉलर इट ऑल हैपन आफ्टर वर्ल्ड वॉर वन एंड वर्ल्ड वॉर टू now when the us predominance as a military power start increasing from world war 1 and uk start losing it so after wood had an agreement when in 1942 44 and when the world war 2 was happening and us was the main supplier of the armaments and support and to europe against germany and japan so that's the time when all these countries signed an agreement and agreed for a world currency as a dollar so first you have to become a you power 
then only country other countries will accept you as a world currency and as of now whether china likes it or not there is no immediate chance that us is vacating that seat to china as a world superpower in military terms malum hai mujhe kya lagta hai मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि चाइना का सबको पता है कि इनके इंटेंशंस क्या हैं उन्होंने को इनको छुपाया तो है नहीं जिस तरीके से वो इंटरनेशनल बिहेवियर कर रहे हैं कंडक्ट उनका जो भी है यू नो छोटे छोटे कंट्रीज को डोमिनेट करने की कोशिश करते हैं साउथ चाइना सी में आइलैंड क्रिएट कर देते हैं पैसिफिक को डोमिनेट करने की कोशिश करते हैं ताइवान के बारे में बिल्कुल ओपन है कभी फिलीपींस से झगड़ा करते हैं चौदह या पंद्रह कंट्रीज हैं उनके अराउंड इंक्लूडिंग फिलीपींस इंडोनेशिया थाईलैंड सब के साथ उनका कुछ ना कुछ इशू है मतलब एक तरह से हैगोमोनी वो अपनी एस्टेब्लिश करने की सोच रहे हैं लेकिन साथ में वो ये भी कहते हैं कि हम नंबर वन पावर बनेंगे और उनका शायद वो डिजाइन भी उस तरीके से है और क्योंकि इकोनॉमी उनका बड़ा अच्छा बिहेव कर रही है तो एटलीस्ट ओवरटली तो ऐसा ही लगता है दूसरी बात ये कि जो पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम है वो ऐसा है कि जो उनका प्रेसिडेंट है उसको डिसीजन मेकिंग में बड़ी आसानी है कुछ भी डिसीजन वो ले सकता है यहाँ पे ब्रिटेन को कोई डिसीजन लेना होगा तो उसको कम से कम भी तो कांग्रेस में तो पूछना ही पड़ेगा इंडिया में अगर कोई डिसीजन लेना होगा तो मोदी जी को राज्यसभा से ही पूछना पड़ेगा लोकसभा से ही पूछना पड़ेगा सुप्रीम कोर्ट भी बैठा है चाइना में तो मामला उस तरीके से डिसीजन मेकिंग का सेंट्रलाइज है तो मैं ये सोचता हूं मेरे दिमाग में ये बात आई कि अगर चाइना को वर्ल्ड पावर बनना है कल को उसको ऑप्शन दिया जाए कल को उसको ऑप्शन दिया जाए कि सोर्ट आउट योर डिफरेंसेस विद ऑल द नेबरिंग स्टेट्स दैट इज इंडिया या फिलीपींस इंडोनेशिया इन सब से और ताइवान से भी किसी न किसी तरीके से एंड प्रॉब्ली देन यू हैव गोट ए चांस प्रॉब्ली टू बिकम द ग्लोबल नंबर वन पावर तो चाइना उस हालत में Do you think it's absolutely fixious question? No doubt about that. Do you think they will go for it? See, it's not the question of decision of China alone. It's the decision of the other countries. How much do you have a faith or belief in his action or in his words? So far, we have never seen their words and actions coincide. Are they? match each other whether it is hindi chini bhai bhai with india or with korea or japan and other countries so it's not what you say what you do is most important and it doesn't happen or it doesn't change in a year or two it say ki i'll start changing and say okay now i have changed my heart so please believe me and then from tomorrow onwards or in a year onwards it will happen so it is not second thing world has changed since last uh, 30 40 years from bipolar to unipolar to now situation countries are going for multipolar countries and that is also in favor of the entire human kind and for the most of the countries instead of having only two superpower we should have a multipolar so that there is a counterbalance and words are working towards it whether it's a like by a power a or power b and india Yes, are right. This is there is no doubt about that. With its uh, economy, with military and other policies, people are listening and giving due credit to India. Of course, it is not a uh, changing or replacing uh, top two countries militarily or uh, financially. But people are looking at an alternate, and we are working hard to work in a international forum. Whether Now, recent example is in the G20. If you look at the G20 countries, because it is consisting of the top 20 countries, India systematically work on it and successfully accepted by US and other countries to invite Africa as a union, not as a one country, but Africa as a union part of the G20. So this way we are bringing in more and more countries and uh, uh, listening to them, and not only listening but Uh, giving them their voice at an international forum which unfortunately it was supposed to be by the un but un is losing its uh, focus and as well as its importance because of their structure and rules and regulation which were drafted in 1945 and not allowing other changes which is happening worldwide and confined only to five so it is the other forums are coming alternate to un and india is playing a good 
uh, role and which is accepted by most of the country. I will not say it by all, but majority of the countries are accepting it. And uh, we have to continuously work and work toward multipolar rather than uni or bipolar. Achha, Grishi, main, uh, Global Times mein ek article aaya tha aur, uh, uska main thoda sa aapko context bhi de deta hon. अभी जैसे सब बात करते हैं स्पेशली जो वेस्टर्न ब्लॉक है वो बात करते हैं मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में चाइना प्लस वन वो प्लस वन में इंडिया भी हो सकता है फिलीपींस साउथ कोरिया वियतनाम बांग्लादेश सब हैं बट ऑफ कोर्स इंडिया का उसमें मेजर शेयर आएगा जब प्लस वन डेवलप होगा बेसिकली पर्टेनिंग टू द ग्लोबल सप्लाई चेन या फिर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग तो सबको पता है कि चाइना की जितनी भी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग डेवलप हुई है इसमें बेसिकली जो इन्वेस्टमेंट है वो यूएसए से आया है और यूएसए चूंकि प्लस वन कंसेप्ट की तरफ जा रहा है तो प्रॉब्ली इंडिया को उसका एडवांटेज मिलेगा तो जैसे ही ये सब पॉसिबिलिटी आई उधर मोदी जी का यूएसए की विजिट का प्लान हुआ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग को इम्पेटस देने का प्लान हुआ तो ग्लोबल टाइम्स में आर्टिकल आया और ग्लोबल टाइम्स का आपको मालूम ही है जो बीजिंग में बोला जाता है वो उसको कोट करता है तो उन्होंने कहा बड़ा क्रिटिसाइज किया उन्होंने कि नहीं दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल पहली बात तो कि यूएस से ऐसा करेगा नहीं क्योंकि चाइना इज मोर कॉम्पिटेंट मोर कैपेबल स्ट्रीम है सिस्टमेटिक है पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम बड़ा स्टेबल है और दूसरी बात इंडिया की कैपेबिलिटी नहीं है तो आपने जब कहा ना कि ब्रिक्स की जो गवर्नमेंट करेंसी आएगी तो इसमें आपका पॉइंट बिल्कुल वैलिड लगता है मेरे को कि जो आपस में ये जो इनके इंटरेस्ट हैं वो ही क्लैश करेंगी जैसे इंडिया चाइना का तो बिल्कुल क्लियर ही है जोग्राफिकल लेवल पे भी और ये इकोनॉमिक लेवल पे भी और अभी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में भी हो जाएगा तो मैं चाहूंगा कि आपका एक कमेंट इसके ऊपर आ जाए सी इट्स अ वेरी गुड पॉइंट यू रेज एट द सेम टाइम आई एम हैप्पी दैट ग्लोबल टाइम हैज स्टार्टेड डायरेक्टली टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया विच शोज दैट इंडिया इज हेड एट देयर डोर स्टेप ऑल्सो वाई एम ट्रेलिंग बिकॉज लेट से If we, somebody comes and talk to you, okay, okay, Bangladesh is building this military strength. Will you be bothered? Not at all, because you know there is no comparison between India and Bangladesh. If somebody says that okay, Sri Lanka is coming and that their economy is going, we'll be happy because it is not a threat to India because there is no comparison. But is talking about India, it means they are really worried. That's the reason they said it is not a threat. Means it is a threat. number 2 earlier indian uh, policies were not so focused systematically and we are making lot of noise but not converting them into ground realities now in the last couple of years there are changes government is focus on certain area and encouraging local as well as foreign participation not only in investment from financial point of view but technical transfer and know how point of view the recent example which we can see is the mobile let's say apple apple is one of the biggest company in the world the largest market capital it is having more uh, you know of, uh, budget than many of the countries having gdp now india was their second market after china if you see if you know miss us is their largest market but china and then india now so far they were concentrating only on the china but in the last couple of years government made efforts even us also uh, company apple also realized and they have shifted their base extra capacity building in india because of the covid and other ch- challenges they have seen that if everything is confined to one place there is a logistic and other problem irrespective of whether that country is doing intentionally or unintentionally it could be a um nature or any kind of a problem can create this havoc which we have seen in covid situation now india is uh, i was reading one of the article of the uh, apple they are planning 18% of the export from india of their total export okay. which is a significant number means billions of dollar export will happen from india now if this can happen in 2 3 years you can imagine what will happen if other areas preference area is prioritized and similarly semiconductor and other area so india is giving an efforts india is prioritizing their area where we feel we can add value i am not talking of number of man hours or number of area we are add value means value value to Uh, the companies who are coming in whether like apple or semiconductor uh, from uh, taiwan and other things and it will beneficial to the 
companies who are coming benefit to india and benefit to the world the only then if it is win win situation then only things happen if it is only win and lose that things doesn't work so it is a good efforts by government of india concentrating on focusing on few area and working on it and it will lead to a good result in coming years term think that it will happen in a year or two like uh, uh, things takes time gestation period is there for a major project so this is happening good but uh, let me caution again it is not a auto mode that you once you made this policy and then you leave it no public and the policy maker and the decision maker has to continuously focus on that it should not change with the change in the person or change of the party if we do like that none of the company or foreign companies or investment will look at you and continue to work on it but fortunately as of now things are moving in the right direction so the worry of china is real and i am happy that global time has quoted it here that it is certain worry means they are worrying about it. So, Giriji, thank you very much for this uh, information. And uh, uh, the important point is that China is worried. And of course, uh, personally, मुझे लगता है कि ये वरी का सबसे बड़ा कारण है कि India has arrived. और BRICS का common currency अगर आती भी है या कोई possibility उसकी बनती है, तो I am very sure उसमें India का जो interest है, वो उसका भी consideration होगा. Not only के वो चाइना के इंटरेस्ट को ही लुक आफ्टर करता रहे ऑफ कोर्स जैसा आपने कहा इसमें टाइम लगेगा सो थैंक यू सो मच गिरीश जी इट हैज बीन ए प्लेजर इंटरेक्टिंग विद यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक